begin. Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Jari Clinton, and today my demonstration speech was how to dribble a soccer ball and make a goal. I chose soccer because I really like the sport, and I used to play in middle school. <laughs> the learning objective, to learn how to dribble a soccer ball, to learn how to kick a soccer ball properly, and to learn how to relieve, relieve stress. I know sometimes we all get upset, well, me personally, we get upset, we're stressed out, and sometimes when you just get on the field, you can get a soccer ball and just kick some frustration out, and it actually works. Yeah, I understand it. You need a soccer ball, you need an open field, like a practice soccer field, you need a soccer goal, preferably one that they use in the um, soccer games, not the little ones, because you need something bigger so you can really aim and go all over the place. You need cleats, so you won't, you can't wear shoes or high heels or anything. You need cleats because you don't want to kick and it slip or, um, and your athletic wear. It can be any loose fitting clothes, whether it's sweatpants, shorts, t-shirts, tank tops, something that you're comfortable in that you can move in as well. Okay, step one, place the ball on the ground in front of you, then position your feet in a slight angle. In this picture here, I, it's showing that I have an angle. And you, yeah, you can see my angle right here. And then this picture here, you can see the ball. So to me, the reason why I said set as an angle is because the ball can kind of, the angle is kind of like the groove, so you can set in motion. Step two, slide it begin to pick your foot up and tap the ball. You use your dominant foot. So whichever one you're, you're used to using, whether you're a right person or a left person, I would preferably do that because that way it gives you better guidance in the way of moving your feet instead of trying to start off with a difficult foot that you don't use very often. Step three, once you begin to tap the ball, start to jog and move the ball in between your feet. As you can see here, I started jogging a little bit and as I was doing that, the ball was moving in between my feet. To me, dribbling a soccer ball is like dribbling a basketball. The only difference is you're using your feet instead of your hands and you're going like uh, this way instead of up and down. Step four, dribble the ball towards the goal and find an open shot, sorry, spot that isn't too far from the goal. You don't want to be too far away from the goal and you don't want to be too close. You want to, I say, at least be in the middle or kind of just a little bit up there but not too far out. And then my last step was you step back a little bit and step into your shot with your dominant foot. And again, you want to use your dominant foot because it's your most powerful foot that you're used to, you're comfortable with, and it can give you a better kick. In this picture, oh, in this picture here, you can see I'm stepping back. This picture here, I'm ready to aim. This picture here, I kick the ball. And the last one, the ball's in the goal. And do I have any questions? How long have you been playing soccer? <laughs> <laughs> I've been playing soccer since I was in middle school for two years. And I really like it. Yeah, it's like when I was taking my pictures, I had so much fun. Like I really like the game. <laughs> 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 okay, thank you.